Hey guys, so welcome back to another episode of Skyrim Anniversary Edition. So in the last episode, we uh, really went through it to get Sunder and Wraithguard. I had mentioned doing Saints and Seducers after that because I did pick the quest up, but my friend told me that she had also just done that quest and um, said it would probably be another situation like the last episode. So we're gonna hold off on that for just a bit, get a couple more levels in and uh, hopefully replenish our stock of magic items. And in the meantime, I'm thinking since we just got Dawnfang and Duskfang in my Oblivion series, I would really like to try to get it in Skyrim because it has been added in an anniversary edition. We know it's one of my favorite weapons in any video game. I want to go get it. And hopefully it won't be super hard. It might be, I know there's a quest that goes along with it, but I don't know anything else about it. So let's just go ahead and get into it. Okay, so yeah, we left off right outside of this cave here. I feel... Was there something else I was gonna do? I hope not, because I forgot. <laughs> but I did mention that I was wanting to go to Riften. This is why we haven't been to Riften yet, of course. Okay, well, we'll fast travel there from Windhelm. Wait, slight problem. Oh no, okay. Amdis does appear at the stables. I wasn't sure. I know one of you guys said that you like lost them immediately, but you're probably playing with survival mode where you can't fast travel. But I had a moment there where I was afraid you would not follow me if I fast traveled, but you do, so it's fine. Skin, Just making where do you sure. Want to go? Oh, sure we had a courier after us. <laughs> well, he can run after all? us. He can follow the caravan. It'll be fine. I believe in him. They're very talented at running and Tracking you down. That skiver just fell from somewhere. Okay. Actually, surprisingly, that courier is not here. Well, now I where do I start this quest? Not scale. entirely sure. I'm I pretty sure you go into the rat way at least, but I don't know exactly how you start it. So we're just going to go there. Probably a good bet. See if we can run into anything. If it if it's anything like all the other quests, we're gonna end up finding a note. Hi. Like I said, I understand why it's all note-based. Still not my favorite, uh, you know, storytelling method in games. Like, obviously, sometimes it makes sense, but it can be excessive. You know, like, uh, in ESO Morrowind, whenever you just find a note written by an Ashlander, you know, that just didn't, didn't check out very well. Is this the quest? Yeah, it is. Okay, well, it was easy enough to find. Warning, stay out of the rat way. It has come to our attention that some misguided citizens have been venturing into the rat way late at night. Is that not just typical for the rat way? To complicate matters, others have seen fit to spread rumors of their disappearance, stirring up talk of ghosts and phantoms haunting the sewers. We would remind you that the Ratway is not a safe place for commoners, and any talk of ghosts is nothing more than tavern gossip. We will investigate the matter shortly, but in the meantime, take heed and do not enter the Ratway. Well, I'd make the joke that it can't stop him because he can't read, but he that's actually so does read quite a lot right because here. that's how Bjorn finds all of his quests, apparently. Can I just take that? Get out of the way. There we go. Ah, <laughs> uh, it's like, sure, Gonair reads a lot, but I, I think Bjorn just... <laughs> I don't know. He's real good at finding notes, isn't he? Oh, I forgot. We are fighting with Sunder. I mean, I guess we can. At least for this episode. Obviously, we're using Dawnfang and Duskfang after this. Ooh, okay. That was fast. Oh, wait. Difficulty. Yes. I'm just going to turn it to Apprentice because I don't hate myself right now. And uh, last episode was really hard. I'm afraid we're going to run into more overleveled stuff. And Bjorn is very alone. So we'll, we'll just help me out a little bit. You know, I'm not here to be like, I'm good at Skyrim or anything like that. We're just here to experience. So, it's really dark in here, oh my god. Yeah, I had someone ask me, they were like, yeah, is there any way you can make your videos any brighter? And, uh, no. <laughs> I, I do boost them up a little bit, to be honest, but, uh, I know I've mentioned it before, I'm actually, like, super sensitive to light. Like, being in front of my ring light for even one video, I will be crying afterwards. 
It really hurts, and also I like the realism of the game being a little bit darker in places like this and having to use spells and torches. I think it just it adds to it. And if I change the settings just for my videos, I'll have to go in and mess with them every single time, and then I'll forget, and my eyes will be bleeding at the end of it, so... Oh my god, Bjorn, okay, calm down, man. He really likes Sunder, apparently. He's very talented with it. God. Oh, and there's a ghost. Hi! We're just gonna follow you, I guess? Oh, that's new. Okay, open that up. Where we at? Candlelight, please come back. I do need you. Mm, a skeleton. A guild mage. Oh, guild mage is the last words. I am done. My wounds are too deep, and so I have chosen to remain and lock this area. All I can do is pray that Selenus made it out and sealed this dreaded place shut forever. At least then my death will not be in vain. Okay. Well, he didn't. Because uh, I am now here. For better or for worse. Here I am. That's creepy. All right. Hi. Screenshot time. As it goes. Right, so it's right here. I don't think we can take that. Yes, naturally. Why did I have it in my head for so long that it was two-handed? I always use one-handed stuff in Oblivion. Well, I say that as if I'm not playing Corellian and that's the only Oblivion gameplay you guys really see from me, but usually I do just use swords as it goes. One-handed swords. Hi, angry guardian. Ooh, okay. I get it, you're not happy I'm here, sorry. You're a little bit powerful, but you're also kind of stupid, so uh, I think we got this. <laughs> I just don't want this to be a repeat of last episode. No one wants to watch me run around in circles for another 30 minutes. All right, that opened back up, but is there anything else in here? Old smuggler's note, all right. Damn these mages with their magic. Things were good here. Life was sweet and profits were aplenty before the boss agreed to help these fools with their trap. This venture will cost us the shirts off our backs, I'll wager. I think it cost you more than that, my friend. Cost you it all, congratulations. Oh. All right, you're green now. The earth is shaking. Don't know what that was all about, except I think it was, okay, yeah, it's just matching the color where it wants me to go. I see, well, that's kind of cool. What's this? Oh, this is volume three. We don't want to start at volume three, unless the volume three is actually the first volume. We're just gonna keep going. Uh, another skeleton. Okay. No notes this time. Very surprising. Oh, I think we got skeletons. Hi! Cursed smugglers! Oh! Hi there. Please die again. Thank you. My hand is stuck. Come here, let me caress you. Let me touch those bones. Okay, you're, you're dead now. Our intimate moment is over. Is this a door? Or is this a grate? That's a door. Doesn't lead to a whole lot, though. Another mage! I warn them to be cautious. No matter how perfect the incantation, magic is the husband of chaos. We let our guard down and this abomination is the result of our hubris. And to make matters worse, he is divided into three. Divines help us all. Okay, um, all right. Where am I going though? I don't even know. Wait, we were doing alchemy, I should take that. I do think my special edition might be a little bit darker than my older one though. Maybe just a bit. Oh, you're up here, hi. Goodbye. I know you want us to follow you, but I also want all these ingredients. Lots of potions of health. I don't need to be concerned about that. Hi, you're probably gonna attack me too, aren't you? Yup. I'm noticing a bit of a pattern here. But this one is worse than the last one. <laughs> oh, a torn note. I can't resist him, those eyes, those terrible eyes, so full of anger, fear, and remorse, the only escape is death. Well, I guess he got his escape. He is dead. A human heart! Oh, okay, what's going on here? How did they get a hold of Corellian's sword? I'm not entirely sure. As I said, Corellian doesn't really leave the Shivering Isles much uh, in the fourth era, so... We are doomed, there is no hope. 
great. Okay, here's volume two. We're going backwards. So it might want us to read it backwards. I guess we could go ahead and do that. I, I have no excuse. Please be a level. No, so close. Okay, well, at least we're not dying for health this time. Okay, let's see. 22nd of Morningstar, 4th Era, 131. Okay, so like 70 years ago. What was done cannot be undone. We did what we set out to do and our commission was fulfilled, but at such a horrid cost to us all. Together we endeavored to lay a trap here with the aid of the inhabitant smugglers and ensnare him. Knowing something of his past, we brought with us the remains of his dear departed wife, hoping that this alone would lure him into our grasp. Our plan worked, but something went horribly wrong. Perhaps it was a mishap of our magic or the deeper magic of the weapon he wielded. I know not which, which with any certainty. All I know is that for some reason, our enchantment caused his being to divide and we suddenly found ourselves caught in a battle with three where there had once been one. But with great effort, we managed to separate and contain these divisions within the chambers of this vault. But this was a small victory, if any at all, for I have yet to determine the true cost of it. I know not how many of my guilds survived the deed, for I cannot break the seals of those doors without undoing all that we have achieved. All I can do is await their return and pray. There's at least some comfort in knowing that our foe can no longer wield his blade, for he and the magic shield are one. He is bound to it. He is now both its prisoner and its guardian. Oh, so are we just killing each of these spirits that were at 1.1? Alas, our casualties were too high, for although we have trapped him here in this vault, it is now clear to me that only I and one other may live to tell this tale. However, there is no time to grieve the loss of our guild, for we must seal this place shut and report to the council at once. They must be informed of what has happened here. My colleague is severely wounded, but hopefully has the strength yet to assist me, for we must not fail. Okay. Then this is volume two, so we're going backwards here. We've secured a location that will serve us well, an old partially abandoned smuggler's hideout in Riften. One of the council members, Sachel Gatharian, has done prior business with the inhabitants and pointed us in their direction. It was a prudent choice as these small band of unsavory entrepreneurs seem more than happy to assist us with our venture, for they have a love of gold above all else. With this much aid, building our trap should be accomplished reasonably quickly. Once this is done, we will bring her remains to us and draw our spider out. Uh-huh, okay. Well then, hi other skeleton, you have moon sugar on you for some reason. Oh, hi! Hi Varric Tilwald. Goodbye Varric Tilwald. Sorry about that, um... Is this a new book? I don't think so. But there's a note here from Varric. I met Sachel Gatharian on a Morndoss outside the docks in the rain. Should have taken it as a sign. We'd done business before, she and I. Smuggled black soul gems, corpses, the kind of dark and dishonest things that would make grown men sleep in pairs. But this was different. This was big. The sword she gave me was like nothing I'd ever seen. Teeth like a slaughterfish and a blood-red gem in the center. I said it must have been one of a kind. That's when she smiled and told me there was another. My job was to swap them. We sealed the venture with a coin, of which more was promised later. The mage told me I'd be contacted in a week. A group of her associates would pay us to use the hideout to kill some captain, after which I'd make the switch. She told me to keep this a secret from the mages, which made me pause, but the details didn't matter much to me. All I wanted to know was the number on the ledger. It was enough. Months later and the deal has turned rotten. The mages underestimated their own magic and we are greed. Now we're all paying the price for our stupidity. Some tried to fight their way out, but the bastard won't die. I'm beginning to think he can't. On top of that, every man that he's felled has risen to fight beside him, making him that much harder to kill. Great. I could kind of see that. I guess I have no one to blame but myself. I should have trusted my gut from the start. Mage jobs always have a bad stink on them, but this one smelled especially foul. But I wanted that gold so bad I convinced myself and the men it was moon sugar. The funny thing is, I don't even have bloodthirst anymore. Oh, that's a sword. Okay, I was like, you also a vampire? Um... <laughs> I lost at the pits at Faldor's tooth, thinking I could just kill the mages in Gatharian once I got my hands on the other one. But when the spell went bad, the guild sealed the captain in these chambers and us along with them. Now all I have left is a festering wound, an empty stomach, and the mage's coin to show for it. Chances are this coin is probably the only thing that'll ever make it out of here. But oh, could it tell you a story? Because this coin has brought a lot of lives. It has sold a lot of dreams and spilled a lot of blood. I know now the coin is cursed, yet for some reason I can't let it go. I'll take the coin, sure. <laughs> well, alright. Guess we're on to the next wing. 
You gonna shift colors again? Yes, you are. Thanks. Didn't know which way to go. So nice of you to show me. Now then, um, seeing a lot of skeletons. Hi, gonna take your potions, cause I'm gonna need those for <laughs> saints and seducers. Ooh, we'll take that too. That skeleton's about to get up and attack me. I, I can tell, you're gonna do it. Guild mage is missive. We have to try to contain him or die trying. She is the key to everything for her death to find him and drove him insane. Perhaps we can use her remains to summon her spirit and calm him. Well, I think her spirit is here. <clears throat> Pretty sure I've seen her. Yeah. All right, well, that's not working. Ah, here's the first journal. I can see where it all began. Our guild has been commissioned to capture and restrain a renegade blades captain. Many tall tales have been spoken of his cruelty and malice, some even claiming he is part serpent. In addition to bearing the arms of his former employers, it is said that he wields an Akaviri weapon of dark magic. The combination makes him quite formidable. Thankfully, the guild has great experience in dealing with such things, and we will win the day. They did not win the day. Spoiler. We encountered our foe, but all did not go as planned, and he escaped us. He was much more powerful than we had imagined, and many lives were lost as a result of our misjudgment. However, I am now convinced that his dreaded blade is the source of his power, as I have witnessed firsthand the dark magic it yields, for the blade drinks both life force and mana from any that befall it. We must think of a way to separate our foe from the source of his power. We have devised a means to separate our foe from his blade, and we must now set a trap and lure him to us. I am certain that it will work, but to be sure, I must think of an incentive to draw him to us. I think it would be prudent to research this former captain in more depth. Upon reading what I have regarding our captain, my heart almost feels pity for him. It would seem that his madness and malice stem from the loss of his wife. The records reveal that it was after this tragic event that the darkness of the soul overcame him. However, pity will not save lives. He must be stopped in all event. Therefore, I have decided to acquire the remains of his loved one in the hope that this will draw him to us. Alright, well, I guess we'll go ahead and take that. Took the others. Um, touch. Yep. How'd I know you were gonna come to life? I could have never foreseen this. Hi! What? You're, you're getting zapped. Interesting. Okay. Oh, he's summoning more dudes to us. Oh. This is fine, this is fine. They're all just a bunch of skeletons. So we just whack them, they fall apart. Oh, hi, hi. You're, you're a little bit bigger. I get it. Luckily, we have a level up in case we need it, which we might. Okay, I don't like your sword. <laughs> I'm gonna slow you down a little bit. Maybe take out some of these skeletal archers. Stop shooting me. I'm just gonna go ahead and level up. More health, please. I guess we'll just go ahead and take that. No more shooting. Now you! Oh, well, you're down. Okay. Where are you? Oh! He has come back. Different variants, please don't shock me. I really hate that. It's just not very nice. I don't need you to drain my magicka. I already don't have enough. Hi! You gonna attack me now? Yes, you are. Okay, well, I think maybe I have merged your soul again, so that's kind of cool, right? Oh, now you have a name! Laurent Bouchard! Did you just shout at me? You can't do that! I guess you probably could, if you really wanted. But that's very rude. That's my thing. Not even. It's not Bjorn's thing. <laughs> he has no shouts. Wow, have I reunited the two lost lovers? How romantic. Give me the sword. <gasps> it's Dawn Fang. Yes. Okay, let's take a look at it. Oh god, what just happened to me? <laughs> uh. So right now it is Dawn Fang, which you can't really tell in the close-up. Maybe maybe you see it in game. It's just kind of black right now, but um, Dawn Fang, obviously, it's more warm tones. Then it switches to Dusk Fang at night. And goes more cool toned. So, in daytime, deals 7 points of fire damage. At night, deals 7 points of frost damage. After killing 12 creatures, absorbs 5 points of health or magicka. Zero creatures killed. Okay, so... <gasps> there we go. Okay. That's cool. I like that. Oh. Oh. Okay, hold on. <laughs> 
Well, I, I used TFC one. I probably should have just done the, the free camera without pausing it, but yeah, there we go. Let's take it out in the sunlight. That quest at least wasn't too hard. We got some potions out of it too, so I'll take it. <sighs> right, yep, we are a vampire, that's okay. Kind of a cloudy day, but eh, not too bad. There we go, now we can see it moving a little bit more. Very nice. All right, we should probably kill some people with it, huh? Let's see, pretty sure there's a fort Welcome around here it. somewhere. We could go kill people. Sure Only thing is, it is daytime and we are vampires, so gotta be a little bit careful, but we'll also wait around for night, because obviously we have to see Duskfang too. In fact, we won't have to wait long. We might not even get to use Donfang tonight. But look, look how pretty it looks with this. Quickly, to the fort. I feel like this is so fitting. Look at the god rays coming off of this sword. Like, dang. Oh, bandits, would you like to attack me? Wait, I forgot to turn that back on. I took a screenshot. Pretty sure there's bandits here. Where are the bandits at? Cowards. Oh, there's one. Hi. Can I whack you? Oh, it became dust pink. Ooh, look at it. It's so pretty. So it is now frost damage. So it doesn't... Look like it pops up and tells us how many it has killed, but it says it right here. In oblivion, it does pop up and tell you. Hi, don't do it. Gonna split your belly like an old uh, first. Maybe you shouldn't. Uh, All right, there we go. Got it, little buddy. Oh, dusk fang, so pretty. We know I love blues. It just looks so good. This is actually convenient timing because now I can regen, but I can Why wait until the around? morning to go inside of the fort and then we can kill some more people in there and it'll be fine oh violent okay so we've killed five things now it doesn't have to be people i think i kept saying people oh so orange out today <laughs> okay really not a whole lot of loot out here so i'm just going to wait until the morning and then we'll try dawn fang out now i'm pretty sure i just got dawn fang again um <laughs> In Oblivion, and it had been a very long time since I had gotten to wield it. But doesn't- yeah, it does reset. Okay. So we've now, once again, unfortunately killed zero creatures. Resets every day, it looks like, or at least every, um, 12 hours. Hi. But maybe there's 12 creatures in here, you know? Get to do some fire damage on them and loot around a bit. Whoa! Hi! Goodness. Don't sneak up on me, it's rude. Oh, we got the band chief. Okay, but Dawn Fang, very powerful. Very much so indeed. Seems we're fine. Oh, flawed Varla stone high. Guess I'll take it. And a scroll, useful. See, that's what we need, man. Scrolls and staffs, please. Want some of those before we go on to Saints and Seducers, you know? Is that everyone at this fort? I'm kind of feeling like it is. I guess we'll have to go somewhere else. Two more! Who wants to be my 11th creature? Oh, there's something over here. There's two things over here! Yes, spiders. Probably spiders. Whoop. Three things! Yes! We only needed two, but we'll have to test stuff, you know, on this spider. I assume it's more powerful. 12 creatures killed. Oh, it absorbs more. Okay, so it just does a little extra. We're not gonna be able to visually see that, but it absorbs health or magicka. Cool. Very nice. That'll be very useful for us, especially since we don't reach in. <gasps> oh no, we can tell. Look at it. <gasps> it's on fiery now. Beautiful. But yeah, guys, I do think that's where I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode. I'm so excited to have Dawn slash Duskfang in my life in both games. I love this sword. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like. Maybe consider supporting my coffee or Patreon if you want to help out the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.